We're here at Chocolate Hills, Bohol. These are the chocolate hills, named this way because they look like round pieces of chocolate. These hills are located in the center of the Philippine island of Bohol. To get to Bohol, you have to take a ferry from the nearby island of Cebu, Cebu City. Your ferry will get to a city called Tagbiliran. It's just the port city, but it's a good place to stay because Bohol is so small, you can get around the island on a motorbike. So tourists get pulled over a lot for not having an international driver's license. And usually you have to bribe the police officer or you have to pay the ticket. So usually I have a helmet that comes down, but this is what I have today. There's no hiding today. Wish me luck. Today we're going to Chocolate Hills on this. about an hour and a half to get there. These are the chocolate hills. During the rainy season they're green, but during the dry season they turn brown, which is why they look like chocolate. You can't really tell just looking around, but there's over 1,200 of these hills. Visitors might assume they're man-made, but they're not. So how were the chocolate hills formed? Legend has it that two giants went to battle in ancient times. They hurled stones at each other for days. After many days of fighting, they grew tired, and so they made peace. They both left the island. And the mess they made. Legend also has it that a young giant fell in love with a mortal girl. When she died, he cried and cried until his tears covered the landscape and turned into hills. But the most popular theory, and my own personal least favorite, the hills are weathered karst formations that were left behind after layers of soluble bedrock eroded away during the process of dissolution by rainfall, surface water, and groundwater. I'm gonna go with the giant tears theory, but you can believe what you want. After the Chocolate Hills, we wanted to visit the Tarsiers. They're these small primates that live in this region of the Philippines. It was on the way back, so we were gonna do it. We went to the Tarsier Sanctuary, where they keep the Tarsiers safe from animals and poachers. If you come to Bohol, you should definitely visit these guys. 